the textile speaks. Eden. Hooked rug. Marguerite Thompson Zorai. Words. P.G. Hodgson. Serpent. Robin Jones. I loved just watching them. Before the fall. They fit so well together as as if they were made out of the same mold. But you need to understand, everything that happened was not my fault. Why did God make me unless he made me to tempt them to eat the forbidden fruit? What other purpose was there for me? And I knew. I knew that I would be cursed. I knew that forever I would be the serpent in the garden. I knew I would have to go on my belly and eat dust all the days of my life. And that there would be enmity between me and the woman, and my seed and her seed, and that we would endlessly try to kill each other they crushing my head, we striking their heel. I knew it would cause eternal pain. I knew it would mean a lifetime of tilling the barren earth from which he came. And yet, still, I did it. Because it was written. I told her she wouldn't die. It wasn't poisonous the fruit. She would just be like unto God, knowing the difference between good and evil. It was a tree that was pleasing to the eyes, a tree desirable to make her wise. But the lamb, the lion, the fish, the bird, there was no curse for them, no betrayal, no temptation. (laughs) Of course, such creatures are not capable of a choice, so why would God have given them one? It was only I and the man and woman who were given a choice that was not a choice, that had only one alternative, only one decision, one path to take. Because if I had said, no, I won't do it, or she had, or he, then what? The sun, the moon, the air, the land, the water, for me, all became a curse. That star beneath my head, shining its light on the fruit I dangled over their heads, tantalizing her, both of them. There was nowhere to hide, no way to ignore. Even in the dark, the star lit everything. But if I was so cunning, me, the serpent, the Nakash, as the Hebrew god would have it, more erum, more cunning than any beast of the Sadech, the field. Why didn't I entice her to eat of the fruit of the tree of life so that they could live forever instead of simply knowing the difference between good and evil? If I had really wanted to drive them out of the garden, I would have made it worth their while. I would have tempted her to eat of the tree of life. But then there would have been an eternity of pain and labor. So perhaps I was more cunning than I thought. Hmm. And now the Lord has placed a cherubim at the east of the Garden of Eden with a flaming sword which turns every way to guard the entrance. And we are all 
forbidden. Still, if I could have my time back, if I truly had a choice, I would not have said those first words. Has God indeed said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Because look at them, how well they fit, as if made from the same clay. Look at how beautiful they are together. No other beast is freighted with clothes. Who told you that you were naked? said the Lord when he found them, when Adam heard his voice in the garden and was afraid because they were naked, even with the fig leaves, and they hid themselves. Yet even before I tempted them, there was regret. You can see the regret as if they already knew this paradise could not last. <laughs>